Hello, I'm Artifact Smart. I'm going to do a follow-up on this story about the ILD Jean Charles, Louisiana thing where uh, the government wants to take the land, remove those Indians from the land, there's 60 of them or so, and they want to resettle them, and we're being told that these are climate refugees. That is bullshit. See, all I dealt with before was the, what do you call it, the uh, journalist part of this where they're not going into this and trying to find out what's going on. Well, it's actually pretty simple what's going on. And I'm going to explain how this works for those of you who don't understand. Now, I don't know who did this or anything, but somebody made, has obviously made a phone call to a certain uh, public official someplace, and what it is is they want land. You understand uh, what I'm talking about? They want the land. I don't know who they are or what they want land for. It could be that once those Indians have been removed, they'll take place and plow under. Maybe it's for some kind of oil exploration. But somebody wants land. So... What they do is they go to a certain public official, they make a phone call and say, Hey, I need your help on something. Uh, we need this land to put up a casino and a hotel. And what we want you to do is make up an excuse like global warming so that we can get the land and build there. And, of course, we want those Indians scattered across the nation so uh, they can't get together very easily and do what they want to do, sue over this. Do you understand what I'm talking about? This is basically a type of eminent domain that's being used. all with the blessings of certain government officials who have no problem having uh, those Indians removed from the land so whoever wants the land can get it. Th this is a basic, simple basic thing to understand. And of course we're not getting any uh, real truth out of the media. I've looked around, and I can't find out who it is who wants the land. But, I don't, and I don't have a crystal ball, but what I will say is that, let's say they are resettled. Probably what you're going to see in a few years, you'll see, you know, levees built, dikes, whatever they need around this area. There's already a marina there, by the way. And you'll see a hotel go up, a casino, a park of some kind, whatever it is that some developer wants. More than likely, that's what's going to happen. Or it could be about... Uh, Oil exploration, in which case the place might be plowed under. This is, has nothing to do with climate. This is my point. Somebody wants the land, and they want to throw those Indians off the land in order to put up whatever it is they want. This is the whole point, folks. Somebody wants the land. Are you getting the picture yet? 
has nothing to do with carbon dioxide, has nothing to do with your tailpipe or anything like that. Somebody wants the land. And they use government officials to, they call up government officials, and then they turn around and say, oh, well, uh, you know, here's a $50 million donation to the Democratic Party. You getting the picture yet? They call up a public official and they say, we want that land, can you do us a favor, make up a story about climate change, and then the Democratic Party gets a big, huge donation. If you don't understand this yet, then I can't help you. This has nothing to do with climate. This is big time corruption. And these poor uh, Indians are going to pay the price. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.